Today we are going to build an outdoor kitchen completely off grid here at our new property in Northern Italy. After taking possession of this old stone house two weeks ago, we quickly realized how crucial it would be for us to have an outdoor kitchen to keep us fueled during this renovation process. So today we will be using as many old materials as we can to build this outdoor kitchen. And along the way, we will show you how we're powering all of our tools and our cameras completely off grid. So all of this old fencing was here to keep Stella out from the front of the house, but we're actually gonna take over this whole area back here so we don't really need the fences up anymore. So we're gonna make use of this old wood and we're gonna make our kitchen. Nice one, high five. So planning has never been my strong suit, but this morning I sat down and I drew up a very detailed plan for our kitchen today. The girls helped me draw in a little picture of Stella and a, and a son. I Stella. I prefer winging it. I'm not sure what lumber we're gonna end up with after tearing this fence down. I'm not sure how it's gonna turn out, but I think it's gonna be great. Hear that, Stella, I drew you. Ready, set, go. <laughs> I do not know how to use a sledgehammer. You Where's swing it. That? Hit it hard, mommy. Where's With my left go? hand? Where is that go? You're like gently spanking it. Whack it. Like this, I need mama. to go with my right hand. Oh, I'm good at it, but it's heavy. Let's gotta get used to this weight. Don't hurt yourself. That was a good hit. Wait. That was a good hit. <laughs> Some of this timber is so cool. You can see that this is an old hand hewn wood beam taken straight from a round tree, hewn into a square piece of timber just with a broad axe, which is fascinating. And then we're finding all of these old hand built nails, which are just so cool. So we do have to do some normal day-to-day -day things today, like get our schoolwork done and things like that. So right now the girls are upstairs working on getting their schoolwork in. Right now Alexa is working on her math and Chloe is doing some handwriting. And uh, then we'll work through the rest of our subjects today as we go. So this entire terrace behind me, we're gonna flatten out. I'm hoping to find a neighbor that has a digger of some sort that we can rent for a couple of days. So it's really hard to tell on camera, but all of this dirt has come down the mountain. It's not actually holding up the retaining walls, but some of this rock is gonna be really hard to get out. So I kind of bought a mini jackhammer. hundred watts coming off a battery. That's incredible. Ah, oh, I broke it. I'm being like you. Yeah, what are you working on? I'm working on the fence. Are you a cheerleader over here? Yeah. All right, so you stand all the way back here. All the way back here. Yeah. So I need some all the way, your whole weight. And all the way on it. Whoa. Whoa. Balance. Three, two, one. Ah! Whoa. Whoa. You gotta stay on it. No, I'm scared. <laughs> and hold still. Thank you. Whew. This hay was heavy. One day I'll be strong enough to hold the big hay. That's hailer. huge. Yeah. I found the snail. Whoa. That's very cool. Where'd you find it? Uh, when I was digging in the terrace. Those are handmade. Those are cool. That is much faster than me. Bear hug. 
I'm going to show you how to do the first one, okay. and then you'll do the next one. Okay. Do you want to use I don't want to or? do it anymore. <laughs> Whatever you want me to use. You want to try the chainsaw instead? Really, not really. <laughs> it's, a, it's easier to cut with the chainsaw. No, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing to me? I definitely feel like I'm not cut out for this, all of the power tools, but Brady's making me try and I appreciate it. It's definitely still really hot here in the afternoon. It's kind of crazy how it's fall and in the mornings it feels like winter is coming, but then in the afternoons the sun comes out and whew, it gets quite hot out here in the sun. Shade is definitely one of our um, biggest problems that we need to solve on this property. I'm sure we'll figure it out. One more time. <laughs> you make it look so easy. No, you gotta. <laughs> I can't. It's a put put your back into it, your hips into it. Well, I don't have the same kind of upper body strength as you have. <laughs> no. I can't even pull it this way fast enough. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I can't even keep it level. <laughs> This is embarrassing. No, you're gonna get it. <laughs> You've done it before. Do it again. No, I'm telling you, I can't start a lawnmower. <laughs> oh, <my God! laughs> So when we were first looking at this property, I knew that figuring out our electrical setup would be a top priority straight away as we do not have electricity on the property. And that immediately gave me nightmarish flashbacks to when I was designing and building our electrical setup for the van a couple years ago. So this time I knew I wanted to use something that was more plug and play that I didn't have to design and build myself and risk electrocution. So I started to do some research on what would fit us the best and I settled on using Blue Eddy. And then I kid you not, the stars aligned and a couple weeks later, Blue Eddy actually reached out to us, had heard that we were working on this property and wanted to see if we would test out one of their products. So this is the AC200 Max portable expandable power station, which features an internal 2048 watt hour capacity battery, along with a 2200 AC pure sine wave inverter. So this little guy is what we're using to power our entire build here. This is how we are able to have lights on the property, how we're able to charge our batteries, our camera batteries, our tool batteries, and power all of our heavy equipment. But it also features wireless charging for your phone. So what makes this unique is that it's actually expandable by adding additional external batteries to it. By adding the B230 external battery, this will actually double our battery capacity. So there's actually seven different ways that you can charge this battery. What matters for us is the solar. It will take an input of 900 watts of charging, which means you can have this thing charged in just a couple of hours. This model features eight DC outputs and four AC outputs. So for our purposes as we're building the house, you can kind of think of this as a modern day generator, but without the obnoxious engine running in the background all day long. So Blue Eddy makes a huge range of portable power stations that can power anything from a small camping setup all the way to a large house. So as a thank you to them for supporting us, I would love it if you guys would check out the link in the comment below. This is my fairy garden. This is where the queen of all fairies live, right in this big house. And the little fairies live in all of these houses. So as we're going to make another fairy 
house. Okay, so you make a little hole in the ground. Put a piece of wood in. Okay, your supper ready. And until it's perfectly in. All right, so we're gonna start by building the roof for shade. We need shade. And then we're gonna work backwards to see uh, how big a roof is and then how far we spread out our supports. We're trying to use as little lumber as possible because wood right now is crazy expensive. So we could just chop down a tree. We should have just chopped down trees, but we're trying to for speed here. We're trying to get this done because I want some coffee. <laughs> I need a little stove to heat up coffee. I'm thankful for power tools again, but I would really love a chop saw, like a proper chop saw. I have to do like three or four cuts to get through this small little thing. And it's rather annoying. I feel like I'm already starting to realize that I need to do a better planning than just a little cartoon drawing. If I had a cut sheet and the size is all right, like it's turning out, it's a little bit smaller than what I had in my mind, but it's gonna it's work. Bigger than I had in mind yeah. for the roof. Hello. You did it. Hello. I would say it's quite ugly <laughs> by my standards, <laughs> but this is supposed to be a one day kitchen build and we're already behind, so. <laughs> I gotta move fast. Alexa, will you hold this end? We need to measure where our posts are gonna go. So put it on the inside of the board. All right, 280 centimeters. All right, now we gotta go dig holes 280 centimeters apart. Yeah. One post here, and then the other post there. Okay, this is the fun part. We practiced all week for this with the fencing, didn't we, Alexa? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Here's an extra screw if you need it, Daddy. Oops, buddy. All right, so we're using this old steel stake to uh, pound a pilot hole through the ground to push through any dirt, rocks, and roots. This is how we did all of the fencing last week, which if you're wondering, we're still gonna finish the fencing. We just needed a break from that kind of work. Yeah, it was. Oh, it looks kind of similar. I, I know. <laughs> What you gonna do? It's the sword and the stone. <laughs> Who is the I chosen will be one? The queen. Okay, Alexa. <laughs> nope, not you. Me. Whoa, Chloe. I am the queen. <laughs> okay, so now the fun part. This is gonna be both what holds our roof up and one of the legs to the kitchen. Just gotta get in first. What's that thing that's on the piece of wood, Daddy? It tells me if it's level. Oh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, my job is getting all the dirt off of the stones so we can see them better. Yeah. Thank oh, you, Alexa. so nice. Alexa, show me what you're doing. I'm working at this big, big pile of dirt. Wow, that'll take a long time. He doesn't want to go in. That's as far as she's going. I gotta take him in the He's garden. He's hibernating. But he should be underground. Can I take yep. him to our garden? Yeah, you can take him to the garden. Find him a little spot in there, and then you can even cover him back up. So he's nice and warm. And yeah, he's pretty wet. Yeah. He must be pretty hot. Good job, Chloe. Chloe, what did you plant in here the other day? Tulips. You and Daddy and Alexa planted some tulips in here, didn't you? Yeah. So we'll have to see how those turn out. Probably in the spring those will bloom, hopefully, right? Yeah. Yeah. And the grass needs some water, too. Okay. <laughs> Chloe, did you fall and get a little boo-boo on your head today? Her feet are disgusting. So Alexa 
Give it her a little swimsuit. Yes, yes, yes. What a good sister, though. <laughs> I need to wash my hands now. So for not having a plan, I feel like it's starting to come together. You can start to see the shape, but this dirt up here is so full of rocks that I keep digging down just a little bit and then hitting a rock. So it's slow going. I know you're building a kitchen, but I'm not sure what your idea is. I don't really have an idea, but as long as we can make coffee with it after I'm done, I'm good to go. And dinner. So we just stopped to admire the work for a little bit and man, this view, I think we're gonna enjoy cooking from this spot. <laughs> so the reason we designed it this way is I want an open back so that you have a full view as you're cooking off into the valley. And I think it's gonna work. I just stopped and looked up for the first time and it's like, wow, <laughs> it's, it's actually nice. better than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, it's pretty nice. I don't like my hat, I'm getting used to it but the sun just cooks me. We're just starting to talk about the design of everything. We're gonna place the sink, the cooktop, if we're gonna have storage. I started to say that we needed like storage up the back wall and Heather's like, no, no, no storage, because that <laughs> blocks the view. Absolutely not. <laughs> Lexa, you're doing such a great job. What are you doing? I'm painting the kitchen. Painting the roof, right? This is the roof? This is gonna be the roof. It looks too big for a roof. That looks great. Don't smash your fingers. You got, you got to put four. Cool. Cool. Okay, one more. Whew. That was a rush. <laughs> it's very gonna, scary. I don't like power tools. Okay, so now you're going to go cross section, like down here. Okay. Right here? Yep. Did I do it? I think that's as far as it'll go. Cool. I did it! Nice. <laughs> Things are starting to come together. It looks so good. We were thinking, you know, this is gonna be our temporary kitchen, but man, it looks pretty good. We might just have to keep it. Should we stain it? How about or should we seal it? You look great. Safety Chloe! Safety Chloe. <laughs> it's huge. I love it. We can make a drying rack a sink. Oh yeah, look yeah. at that. Oh, it's gonna look so good. That's, okay. That's so nice. Hold on, with that view, will yeah. you wash dishes? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love
love washing dishes. That sounds like a great job for the children. Oh, okay. <laughs> washing the dishes? Yeah. All right, so we have sink here. We're going to have a, a propane cooktop here. And then plenty of... And we have to make a stove for Chloe. A what? A stove for Chloe. Okay. I think it's turning out a little bit bigger than I had uh, imagined, but I love it. It's fantastic. And you could sit on it. <laughs> <laughs> I could definitely get used to this, that's for sure. <laughs> Not a bad. Looks like a roof. <laughs> I not like it. Not bad for day one. Not bad at all. I am shocked that we got this much done, or should I say you got this much done? Hey, you helped a little bit. With the chainsaw. <laughs> not much, yeah. Um, this is incredible. I helped paint. You helped a lot. And now Chloe is over there singing to Stella to keep her. <laughs> Stella. It's a good, it's a good day. It's a good day. <laughs> Well, I got quite the late start this morning. It's now past morning, it's now noon, but I'm still determined to have this kitchen fully functioning in time for dinner tonight. So the girls are feeling a little under the weather this morning, so it's just me by myself, but I'm still determined to knock out the roof, the sink with all the plumbing and the cooktop. So anytime you buy a sink, there usually is a template built into the packaging somehow, which makes it very easy to cut out the opening. But of course we threw that packaging away, so I had to get a little creative and do the old school method to cutting out this circle. So when we were thinking about this plumbing setup here, I knew that I wanted to have a quick and easy way for Chloe and Alexa to fill up their watering can because they love to fill up the watering can and water the flowers. They'll stand there and water the grass for hours. So I, I knew I needed some way for them to easily fill up their water. So prior to the water coming in, going up to the sink, there's a little faucet for them to turn on, on and off all by themselves to fill up that watering can. So yes, I do know Garden Hose is not the safest water line, but it's all I could find last minute, and I'll swap it out for a food grade safe line as soon as possible. I do need to rework all of this plumbing intake soon as it's a bit leaky, but for now I just wanna get this hose hooked up and see if our sink works. Too shabby. So of course for now we'll have to be mindful of the water hose freezing in winter. But eventually I'll get an old uh, 50 gallon drum that we have in the property and I'll fill it up with some gravel and sand and whatnot to filter any of the wastewater. But for now, it's just gonna water the lawn. 
So the great thing about having a sink outside like this is that you really don't have to pay that much attention to the plumbing because after all, if it leaks, it's fine. It's just gonna run on the ground. So I was able to knock this guy out in about an hour and a half and it took just one trip to the plumbing store to get the parts, which is clearly a record for me. Well, that is it. I believe we are finished. We finally have a kitchen. Two days of construction, all of those batteries and power tools being charged and powered. And I think we have only used one sixth of the battery capacity of the AC200 Max and B230 battery. Hi, Daddy. What are you doing, buddy? I'm the great big view out there. Yeah, do you like the view? What do you think of your kitchen? I love it. Oh my goodness, you did such a good job. This hey, is just, just team, team it's it. really great. I mean, Daddy I guess you could say it. <laughs> the water can't sweep more than two nips. Yay! <sighs> oh my goodness, this is so surreal. Our first dinner here on our property. Church bells ringing in the background. A new kitchen, I'm just, I can't believe it. We are enjoying this night so much. Oh, I just feel so thankful. I had this grand vision of cooking a homemade meal, but no, tonight we're having pre-made packaged pumpkin ravioli because I'm exhausted. Gnocchi. Gnocchi. It's gnocchi. Sorry. <laughs> pumpkin gnocchi. <laughs> Well, that is a wrap for this week. I think it was a success. I'm tired. <laughs> Stanko. Uh, Stanko. Stanko. We've learned that word. Stanko and Stinky. We are both. Yes, we are. <laughs> so thank you so much for coming along on this kind of crazy wild ride with us. We appreciate you guys so much and all of the lovely comments that we've been receiving and we just really appreciate it so much, the support and everything. This is a crazy project we're taking on and we pinch ourselves every day that this is what we're doing. So Sorry, I'm hungry. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you next time. Let's go. Next time it'll be a, a better home cooked meal with veggies. Yay.